you this makeup look which I was inspired by this UK makeup artist which I've mentioned before on one of my previous videos his name is Mitchell he's crazy talented and of course I always get inspired by him and in every look that he does and I have the picture that I got inspired by here on my iPhone and like maybe it doesn't look the same but I tried because I got so inspired by him and I was like I have to recreate that look and I wanted to use my Jaclyn Hill palette and Thankfully, all the sh all the shades that I used were from the same palette. Only one shade that I used from my Elf Matte for Matte um, little palette, but like that doesn't count because <laughs> it was only one shade. But like the rest of the look was used by the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. So I really love how it came out, you guys. But anyways, go ahead and follow me on my social medias, Instagram and Snapchat. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Join the Flower Gang if you haven't yet. What are you waiting for? Turn on your post notifications. I am doing post notification shout outs. So in my last video, I did do a post notification. So if you haven't turned on your post notifications, go ahead and do it. Comment on the comment section below once you do. And if you're excited to see how I create this look, you guys, let's go ahead and continue with this makeup video. Okay guys, so we're gonna be priming with the Glamouflage Concealer from Hard Candy. You guys already know that I've been priming my eyes with this concealer for the past few videos. Um, it's just really really nice. I love how it blends the eyeshadow So just put like a little dot onto the lid and Then just blend it all out. I did put a piece of tape on the outer corner of the eye Just so this look could come out very like crisp and clean from the edges So I'm excited to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette again and Filming a look with you guys because it's been one of my favorite palettes that I've been using since my boyfriend got it for me um, It's just very very nice to use it like as an everyday Palette like it just has the perfect everyday tone. I'm using this shade right here. This one's called butter I'm just gonna be slowly blending that out onto the crease Next shade I'm gonna be using is this one right here. This one's called Roxanne I've been forgetting to mention the brushes that I'm using you guys here. I'm using a Luxie 227 T brush I got these on my boxy charm the other day. I think it was like January's box. I Love Luxie brushes. I need to like restock on some because I have bought in some from them But I don't know recently I haven't just I haven't been like Buying makeup or brushes or anything like that. I've just been focusing on other stuff So I've been doing this new technique you guys that once like I, I get the shade from the shadow palette like I'll tap it onto the crease First and then like blend it out and I notice that I get the most pigmentation by doing that it's just so amazing and It's been working for me so much Like just so my eyes look very very pigmented with the eyeshadows I'm gonna be going back and forth with the transition shade basically the first shade that we started with to blend everything out next I'm gonna be using this shade right here this one's called Jax I'm gonna be using a elf blending eye brush so I'm just gonna be slowly blending that on the crease and I do want to focus the shade like just like on the upper part of the crease and I'm just blending it very softly all right so I am going now with another darker shade this one's called mocha I'm also going to be focusing the shade on the upper part of the crease to make it more darker and that will add more depth to the So now I'm going to be mixing these two shades, this one that's called Mocha and this one called Jax. I'm going to be mixing those two and applying them on the outer and the inner corner of the eye. I'm using a Royal and Lacnical 
painting brush what it looks like got this one at Hobby Lobby then I'm just tapping those shades find this brush to be really good but I need to like blend it very well because for some reason sometimes it won't get the pigmentation on like certain parts of the eye and I have to fix that to blend that very well so once that's done I'm gonna be cutting the crease on the center a halo look actually and I'm gonna be using the same concealer from Heart Candy Once that's done, I'm getting my Morphe R41 brush. I'm using Kyuki. And then I'm using my Elf Matte for Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm using this shade right here, the lightest one. And I'm using a Wet n Wild shading brush. I'm just going to be tapping that on the center. So I'm going back with the darker shades that we used and blend the outer corners again. I kind of wanted to add glitter like on the top of the cut crease, but I don't know. I did that for the last look. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Mara Badescu facial spray. Just going to be spraying that all over and applying my foundation. I think I'm gonna do that off camera just because it's the same you guys I did this also on this on the last video where I just did my foundation and the concealer setting thing off camera just because it's the same thing like it doesn't change so I'll go ahead and be back okay you guys so for bronzer I'm gonna be using the Anastasia powder bronzer this one's in cappuccino I've been using this one like every single day just because I love the shade for my skin tone here I'm using the Anastasia brush in a22 I feel like it's like the perfect bronzer brush applying a little bit of pukey on the lower lashes and then I'm applying jack for the inner corner of the eye I'm gonna be using sissy and faint which are these two shades right here for highlight I am gonna be using the Catrice Catrice I hope I'm saying it right Catrice Cosmetics Aqua Fresh Highlighting Eyeshadow this brand sent me some of their products and I've just been obsessing over this gel eyeshadow or like I don't know what this formula is called it's just like sticky but like I barely touch it and look how well pigmented it is so this is supposed to be an eyeshadow but I'm using it as a highlight I get very very little because it is really really pigmented so I have to like blend it very well because it'll dry fast I'll be leaving their website on the description box below you guys just if you're interested on this product and some of their other products as well for lashes I'm gonna be using birthday from T lashes and they're falling down oh. I do have a discount code with T lashes which I always leave on the description box below in case you're interested you guys they're really really nice I'm gonna be using the Dolce Cosmetic black liner and I went to their Instagram not too long ago you guys and I noticed that I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time it's not Dutch cosmetic they like have it in their Instagram description like it's a dose say and I was like oh, I've been pronouncing it wrong all this time for lipstick I'm using the Saint Marcel lipstick in amber it's just a beautiful nude lipstick 